Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Elijah with SoCal Pressa. Today we're talking about the Press Canario, how they could be an awesome family addition. So a few things is when you have a Press Canario, you want to get them accustomed to anybody who's coming into your home. They do not like strangers typically if they've been raised in a normal environment. Uh, they're going to be pretty wary of anybody who comes in contact with them. That being said, you can train them to be good with just about anybody and be more of like a common dog uh, mentally. But in their, in their home, they typically do not want anybody who they don't know in it. It is their home just as much as it is yours and they're gonna find anybody who comes in it to be a possible threat. With your children, they can be a wonderful asset to being a really nice companion to them. They have to be raised properly along with them and that way your kids don't have any issues with them as far as uh, mistreating them inadvertently because they're kids and they just don't know any better or uh, rough playing with them and the, the dog doesn't like it. You definitely want to watch them always. They're going to be part of your family and they need to understand the rules and regulations that you're going to have for them. Bonding is an essential element to your dog. You want to have these guys get close to the family, be around them all the time, understanding what they, what your family likes and does not like. And especially with the kids, making sure that the kids respect them properly, uh, have plenty of play time and bonding time and essentially be raised together as much as possible. We've even had people who have newborn babies along with their press scenario and the press scenario goes crazy as far as like loving them protecting them they want to they want to be there all the time next to the baby as much as we're claiming the press scenario they're also claiming us so we do have to make sure that that balance is always there and they can feel very very happy in the home along with our family So we have our Presa Canario in all parts of the country now, even outside of the country, which is wonderful. We've taken them as far as uh, Canada. We're gonna have one from this particular litter go to Alaska. And on that note, they do get acclimated to their environment and how cold or hot it is wherever you're at, because uh, there's only so much the acclimation can do. And the coat is also gonna take a big part in it. And these guys, they do have uh, more along the lines of hair since it's only one layer. That is something to consider when they're in really cold environments. They're gonna be pretty cold pretty quickly. They don't have that husky uh, type of coat to where they could just jump into the snow and sit there for hours and hours and hours on end without an issue. Some of these guys are jet black or a heavy black brindle and they're gonna get pretty fried up in the sun where they come from in Spain it's pretty mediocre as far as the temperature wise it's usually in the 70s to 80s um, humidity is pretty good and since they're really close to the water the humidity is very good on them uh, it kind of keeps them nice and hydrated and uh, doesn't dry them out as much. When we were living in the high desert of Southern California, they would get pretty baked in the sun and they would seek shade quite a lot. When we had that experience of, of transporting one to Puerto Rico, as you could see in back of me, he didn't have an issue whatsoever. He was a, a jet black um, puppy. He was acclimated very, very quickly. We were able to walk him in the streets. Of course, he was vaccinated at the time, so you know we didn't we didn't have much fear that he was going to get sick from anything. And he, again, he was perfect. He didn't have any issues as far as the temperature-wise. He was panting a little bit because uh, the sun was was pretty up and above that day, and there wasn't really any clouds in the sky. But he did a very very good job. And so people ask us about the longevity of the Presta Canario. For our, for our line in particular, they usually go for about 13 years. Really no health issues whatsoever. You're gonna wanna, of course, take care of them really, really well. Feed them a premium dog food, 
put good stuff in there. If you're doing a raw diet, that's fine as well. Just understand that the carbohydrates are gonna be very low in that diet and you're gonna to wanna to supplement that quite a bit. The all raw diet usually is gonna keep them extremely lean. But that being said, if you're gonna give them a premium kibble, you're gonna also want to incorporate a lot of good stuff in there like uh, probiotic yogurts, MCT oils, coconut oil, things like that. And also watch out for the water that they're ingesting, depending if you're giving it to them from the faucet, it can have a lot of negative things that are incorporated into that water from the city that you may not be aware of. Especially if you're not drinking that water, it's, it's you're not gonna have any issues, but the dogs, imagine if they're always getting this water from the hose, it's not gonna be filtered, it's gonna come with a bunch of impurities and it could affect them in the long term. So the Presta Canero is going to have an abundance of energy uh, for a short period of time. You can kind of look at them like a power lifter. So they're going to be really energetic. It's going to be extremely powerful. And then it's going to kind of burn out, sizzle. Um, with a smaller breed, like a, like a pit bull or something, they're going to have a ton of energy for a long period of time. It's not going to be as explosive, but they're going to have a, a much different type of, of, um, of physicality. So these guys are very large dogs. They're able to give a big impact when they're doing any type of work. Um, in Spain, they were used for guarding livestock and anything that came into that property was essentially going to be their prey. So they have a good guarding and hunting nature to them. Uh, they're very good at protecting the families, anything that they love. They're very, very well with understanding uh, what is theirs and what is not. So if anything comes into the yard, you need to be very, uh, very careful. But we will be back to Puerto Rico to film all these. We do have a good series of the life after the litter, which will then show you our clients and the joys that the Presta Canero brings to their family. So until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you do, and give us a comment below. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.